What's up, you guys? It's not TGT9 up, and today is Friday. So you know what that means? We're doing conspiracy theories, because that's what you do on Fridays on my channel. Okay, so I'm still doing voiceovers. I still don't feel good, so just bear with me. But I know you all heard about that submarine that um, has not floated back up. They were trying to look for, like, um, the Titanic. So, of course, I have some, like, conspiracy theories um, about all of that. So, before I get into the conspiracy theories, just in case anybody doesn't really know what's going on, I just want to do, like, a quick informative video. So, just watch this clip real quick. We just got final confirmation that the Titan submersible did implode. The US Coast Guard just announced that they sent a remotely operated vehicle down and they found debris. A couple moments later, they confirmed that it was parts of the Titan submersible. Incredibly unforgiving uh, environment down there uh, on the seafloor. Uh, and uh, the debris is consistent with a catastrophic uh, implosion of uh, the vessel. An implosion means that they would have been crushed by 6,000 pounds per inch. It seems that the submersible that they were in could not handle that type of pressure. This is an example of what probably happened as soon as they went down. The Titanic shouldn't even be a tourist attraction because it's a graveyard. People lost their lives. Speaking of, the captain of the Titanic was warned multiple times of the icebergs ahead, but he selfishly ignored the warnings and went full speed ahead trying to break record speeds so that when they got to shore, they would hit the front newspaper as one of the biggest and fastest boats. Sadly, he went full speed ahead into an iceberg, like they warned him not to. This captain was probably warned multiple times not to make the trip to the Titanic, and he didn't listen for a quick check. He put the passengers' lives in danger, as well as the search party that was looking for them. At the end of the day, we should respect nature and also respect the dead. Okay, so getting straight into the conspiracy theories. Remember, everything I say is not factual, it's not real, right? It's just like fun conspiracy theories, honestly. I know you probably really shouldn't play like about stuff like this because people did lose their lives. But again, these are just conspiracy theories. Please don't take it nothing to heart or anything like that. Just just chill out, okay, for, for these conspiracy theories. Getting into this first theory with everything I literally just said in mind. My first theory is I believe, okay, so let me tell you guys what uh, kind of pushed me or helped me come up with this. Most rich people, wealthy people, usually um, wouldn't put their lives in um, jeopardy, especially when they have families, this, that, and the other. Um, they wouldn't um, go and do stuff like this, especially with, like, the risk. Um, I'm pretty sure they all knew the risk, if I'm not mistaken. They all knew the risk and stuff like that. Now, we could say that they're just adventurous and blah, 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 but not using that just for the sake of my theory. Let's say that they all were, um, just didn't want to live no more for whatever reason. Could have been depression, could have been whatever, blah, 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 blah. Just, just don't want to be alive, just don't want to be known to existence, who knows, right? This could have been like, really pe for people who didn't want to live anymore and wanted to fake their death and just um, pretend like they were dead and live off on like a private island or something like that. So that's my first theory. Okay, so now I just wanna add my why as to why I pick this as a theory, as one of my theories. They have not found any bodies yet, which is real convenient. Also, they all knew the risk. And I know you guys all probably seen or heard of the little thing that Cardi B and one of the sons of the men on that submarine had like a little altercation. So I'm pretty sure you guys all heard of that. Now let's think like Cardi B for a second. Let's 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 think like Cardi B and say, yeah, he don't care, blah blah blah. He should have been at home morning, whatever. But he had a festival, right? Because that's like what the whole argument is about. He's not at home. He went out. He said to get his mind off things, blah blah blah. We could say to use this for my theory, and we're thinking like Cardi B, remember. So to use this for my theory, keeping in mind that we're thinking like Cardi B, we could say, oh, he's out, and the families don't care because they're not really dead. They fake their death. So my whole theory was that this was never a real, like, Titanic tour or whatever submarine thing to go look at the debris beat records and all that this was never that this was really uh, a fake death mission thingy where he where this rich guy was like hey who don't want to be here anymore who does not want to be known to existence who don't want to be who who wants to pretend like they're dead and then they were like 
me and so they all was like yeah okay so i had the perfect plan to fake our death they're they're only gonna find debris they're not gonna find our bodies and this is the perfect way everybody will know we're dead and bada boom bada bang right <laughs> so that's what i'm sure that's what my theory was and then my why or why i felt or why i even came up with this theory is just basically because thinking like cardi b the families don't care they outside and they don't care and that's because they know that this was a fake death thing only like immediate family probably can know or something like that and then they haven't found any bodies they all knew the risk and what wealthy people you know with kids families all that is going to go out there and risk their lives no matter how much you like adventure i'm pretty sure they just like bungee jump off a plane or something <laughs> no that's od but yeah no that's my theory i'm playing but like for real my second theory now is really quick. So basically, they had, let's just say for this theory only, remember what I said, keep in mind everything I said. Basically, they did something wrong, didn't want to ruin the family name, and this is the only way that they can pay for the consequences. Now, my why. It's basically the same why as before. That's why I said this theory is quick. It's just the way the risk and everything. It just doesn't make sense why wealthy people with families and stuff like that would want to go down there. So the why remains pretty much the same. Um, yeah. A quick kind of like fun, really fun theory is the mermaids got them. <laughs> pretty much the mermaids got them. The sea, the sea humans got them. Whatever humanoid things is down there, they got them. Oh, oh, another good one is they probably in space. They probably in space. They say the ocean leads to space. They're probably in space. I don't know. So now my last and final theory, keeping everything I said in mind, just in case, you know, I don't know, but just keep everything I said in mind before for this last theory. We are like... Oh, this is like kind of a lot, but so we are like always being tested with things. Let's just say for this, the sake of this theory, let's just say a lot of things happen in society on mainstream news and stuff like that to test us and see our reactions and see what theories we come up with. So that's the theory that this was done just to like, just because we're, this is like a experiment anyways. So for this theory, okay, this is a lot. So for this theory, you have to keep in mind or you have to have the mindset. Let's just say, so. okay, so for this theory, let's just pretend like we are an experiment. And yeah, for this theory, <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, bear with me, all right? Here I go. So for this theory... Because I, I can't, and I don't know the best way to explain this. I just, hopefully you get what I'm saying. So for this story, we have to say that this is all an experiment. And I can, I'll even go as far as to say maybe they, the people on the submarine w are also a part of the experiment. And not necessarily well, the, the, we could debate about them being real or fake people. I'm not saying not necessarily real people, but let's just say that they are a part of the experiment and they they know they're gonna be okay, and they didn't like they're not they're not dead and stuff like that. Staying on everything is pretty much no. Just the first, just the the first theory and this theory is basically saying they're still alive. The second theory is saying no, they're dead. They just they just had to die for something that they did wrong. But this theory is saying like this is an experiment. They're not dead. This is just one of, another one of those things to like see what we're thinking and how we react and trying to just get some energy out of us and yeah, basically trying to suck our energy like Monsters Inc. <laughs> That's a lot, but just like I said, keep keeping in mind everything I said for this, everything I said before this video. When I, when I kind of do my, like, you know, where I, like, kind of give a warning where I'm like, you know, everything I say is not real right, blase, blase. So keeping that in mind, like I said, let's just say this world is similar to Monsters, Inc. Where things, events happen that are good, that they, they make events happen 
to suck our energy depending on what kind of energy they need from us. That's my theory, okay? My why is basically the same. The risk and, oh, actually, it's, I have a new why. So my new why is that this is an experimental place. We live, we're a living experiment. So basically, like Mix Monsters, Inc., The Truman Show, and a few other, like, black, some, like, Black Mirror type shows. <laughs> oh, no, Monsters, Inc., and, um... Monsters, Inc. and The Truman Show are movies. Black Mirror is a show. Okay, so mixing all that together, that's what we have. This is That's where we live. That's my theory. That's where we live. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's not CST 9 up. I have more theories come for you. Matter of fact, this whole weekend might be theories. Because I feel like I just didn't come hard enough. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I really could really come harder than that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, thank you so much for watching this video. These are all jokes for real, like, for real, for real. Like, I just like to play like that. But at the same time, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I just want, I don't know. <laughs> this is not CST 9 up. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys, like, I know there's somebody out there that understands my humor. I know there's somebody out there that does. It's probably just one person, but it's still somebody, like. Experts have described what it would be like right now on the missing Titan submarine. And let me tell you, it is terrifying. Imagine being in a minivan trapped with four people. You could barely breathe because all of you have been breathing the same air for hours. You're 15,000 feet underwater, not knowing what's under there. It's freezing. There's no power, no heater. You are slowly freezing to death. There's no GPS, so no one on land knows where you are. You guys are all alone with no contact to the outside world. Slowly, you hear the pressure of the water cracking and crushing the submarine. The captain reassures you that everything is going to be okay. But in your head, you basically realize that you paid $250,000 for your own underwater coffin. The air starts to smell like vomit and feces because, you know, people have to use the bathroom eventually. And you see the captain tapping a small hammer. He's trying to use Morse code, but nobody is getting the signal. You start to see little drops of water slowly leaking into the seams of the submarine. The captain tells you not to worry because it's just condensation. He's lying. Very quickly, your anxiety starts to spike as you realize there's limited food, limited water, limited air, and limited space. And that this might be the end for you because more than likely, the people up top on land have no idea where you are.